A storm of blood approaches fast. Hells open, heavens weep, for no one soul doth lie beyond the measure of his reach. These words lie at the feet of the destroyer and Ralgar's reach. The words of a high priest of the fist of Ralgar, one of the twelve and the patron god of Alamigo, the destroyer, the breaker of worlds, and the god of destruction. Ralgar, unlike most of the twelve, was not born of the world or of a divine coupling. Instead, he was crafted by the hand of Nymeria. As the gods walked through Eorzea in times primeval, they accidentally created and unmade much of the land. Limlane's seas consumed coastlines, Ashran's mountains uprooted plains, and Thalak's rivers went every which way they could find purpose. Nymea, fearing that the world would revert to chaos, plucked a comet from the sky, gave life to it, and cast it onto the ever-shifting land. This was Ralgar and his powerful influence as a destroyer put a stop to the new and disruptive land masses and movements of water. Thus was harmony created in the world, and life could spread to the fullest. After a long break of peace, two more deities came forth from the world, Byragat and Halone. Nymea, whom Ralgar called Master, gave the two into Ralgar's care, hoping that he would teach them the same lesson she had taught the others through him. But both young deities found Ralgar's tutelage unsatisfying. Byragat would seek the knowledge of orderly creation at the feet of Thalak, and Halone would go her own way, learning her own arts of destruction. Ralgar, in religious art, is often depicted as a tall, bearded mage carrying a bronze staff, or as his symbol suggests, a meteor comet. It's speculated that the primal of the sylphs, Ramu, may be in fact their interpretation of Ralgar. Ramu, like Ralgar, appears as a robed and bearded mage, carrying a staff and wielding the power of lightning. This isn't certain, however, and the origin myth of the sylphs does not necessarily bear this out.